I'm Ollie and I'm volunteering with Hotbox Events here at Download Festival. Download has been like fantastic. I mean, it's just the first Friday now, but already we've seen some of the DJs on the Thursday and you know, done a couple volunteer shifts, been helping people out, just having a great time really. Download Festival is not like any other festival, like to have 100,000 fans of like rock, punk, metal all come together. There's just such a really nice uh, community of people. And I think it's probably one of the friendliest festivals I've ever been at. I always love it. Man, Dallas has been amazing. Looking forward to seeing some of the like best bands in the world. There's something about like the crowd at Download. Like you know, if, if we love to get in a mosh pit, but if anybody falls down, everybody picks them back up. I love the crew at Hotbox. Every time I come here, I come alone because I know I'm just going to make so many friends, and I, I always do. We all keep in touch, and uh, yeah, it's just really great people. For every time I volunteer at Hotbox, I love to come alone. If you're with friends. You tend to stick in your bubble. I'm not the only one, by the way. I find the majority of people come on their own because you end up just kind of meeting new friends every day and kind of finding your new best friends for the year. There's so much goes into running Download and making Download happen. And we know like, you know, we're just a small part in that really, but I say we're sort of like, we're the face of it. Like we're, we're the happy helpers who are there to greet you and give you a hand if you need us. Fantastic thing about working for Hotbox is you get a kettle. <laughs> and that means coffee, tea, and like a nice place to hang out. This is my fourth time volunteering at Hotbox. And I can confirm that the way the deposit scheme works is you send your money and you know they hold it to basically make sure that you're not just gonna run off and not do any of your shifts. But they every time they send you a check within 30 days of you completing your shifts at your festival. When you're volunteering, you see so much more about the festival. I just came in before uh, the rest of the crowd did and you get to kind of go around the place completely empty. It was really surreal. We're watching all the bands like set up and stuff. It was really cool. But the other thing is just like you get that opportunity when you're kind of working on campsites to walk around the campsite and everybody says hi to you. It's something about wearing this tabard just makes you the coolest person at the festival. If you come like as a regular person, you meet up with your friends, you watch the music, you have a good time, but with the volunteer side of it, you're also just, you're, you're going around, you're spending like eight to nine hours with all these new people, your new friends, having cool conversations, meeting people, solving problems. Personally, I'm the kind of person that, uh, if someone's having trouble at a festival, I want to be able to help them however I can. And, and that's what we're all about in the Dog Squad. We're, we just want to be able to help people out. And if we can't help them, we'll radio someone who can. And it's just about just helping people. That's it. If anyone's thinking of volunteering next year and they're not sure, I say just do it. It's so worth it. I can't stop coming back. It's the best way to go to a festival if you ask me. I can guarantee you that every year you'll be around a really cool group of people who will look after you and basically just be your best mates for a few days.